this morning I was thinking seriously about my experience and how, you know, implementation of life. I call it a constitution of God. Discipline in English. I mean, what is the difference between a successful person or group and failure? Is the discipline. Believe me, that the discipline is the basic and the most important, the groundwork. Is the discipline, the constitution of God. Khalaf al-Habtour is an Emirati entrepreneur who was born in 1949 in the Al-Shandaga area in Dubai. He was born to a poor family. His father was a pearl salesman and a camel trader in Dubai. Al-Habtour got to start as an employee of a local UAE construction company. He got interested in the construction sector in the UAE and in 1970 he established his own company, Al-Habtour Engineering Firm. Only six years after establishing his new company, he was invited to Zabil Palace by Sheikh Rashid. And the former ruler of Dubai had asked Al Habtur to build a hotel in Dubai. It was one of the first big projects that Khalaf Al Habtur had worked on. He didn't even have the capital necessary to pursue the project. So he took out a loan from the bank. And three years later, he was able to successfully finalize the construction of the hotel, which is now known today as the Metropolitan Hotel in Dubai. Continuing to pursue big projects in the region, such as the construction of Burj Al Arab, allowed the company to succeed and establish themselves as a major figure within the UAE. And for over 45 years, the small engineering firm has grown into a major group known as Al Habtur Group, which is among the most prevalent groups in the region today. Furthermore, the Dubai based businessman has vast experience in the real estate and hospitality sector, and he has worked from scratch to develop the Al Habtur Group by turning it into a billion dollar empire for real estate hotels and cars. Al Habtur has extensive knowledge in political affairs and he is passionate about philanthropy and books. He has written several books such as Khalaf Ahmed Al Habtur, the autobiography. And today he is a self-made entrepreneur whose net worth is now estimated to be over 22 billion dirhams UAE. Tour Group deals business uh, business in three sectors: the hotels, motors, and real estate. And the group's hospitality division, uh, Al Habtur Hospitality, oversees seven domestic hotels and seven international properties. The Dubai-based hotels include the Al Habtur City Hotel Collection, the Waldorf Astoria Dubai in Palm Jumeirah, and the Al Habtur Polo Resort in Dubai Land. Moreover. The Al Habtour uh, motor, uh, Motors brand portfolio includes Mitsubishi, JAC, and Cherry, as well as premium marquees such as McLaren, Bugatti, and Bentley. Uh, Diamond Lease uh, specializes in short-term and long-term leasing of popular brands ranging from, the, from small to mid-sized saloons to pickup trucks and buses. And moreover, the group's real estate division includes a variety of commercial and residential properties from office space to luxury villas. It includes Al, uh, Al Habtur City Residence Collection, which is currently under development, and the upmarket lifestyle destination that embodies, embodies exclusivity and style. And moreover, it has been re reported uh, today that there has been a strong performance for the, uh, for the first 10 months of 2022, uh, with revenues for, for the year expected to soar at an average of growth of 37% uh, compared to 2021. Earlier, the Al Habtour uh, for, uh, group has forecasted a healthy UAE economic growth in 2022 and is pleased that the results have exceeded its, its expectations. The World Bank has projected uh, a real GDP will average 3.4% between 2021 and 2023. Are you expecting to double, triple your revenues? Do you have any uh, quantitative idea of, of how much growth you're going to see in the you know, end of this year into 2022? In, in, in 22, we, we are considering we will go about over 40%, 45% to our uh, last year, which is 21. 21, we achieved about 30, uh, 37%. If you compare 2019, 2000, combined 2020, 
which we really, I mean, of course, it is not easy, but with our experience and uh, controlling, cost control and et cetera, we achieved gr great results. Founding chairman of Al Haptor Group, one of the largest privately owned business conglomerates in the region, said the first quarter of 2021 fared better than expected thanks to the post pandemic recovery in the United Arab Emirates. Speaking about the diverse industries that Al Haptor Group operates in, Al Haptor noted that the real estate sector in Dubai recorded strong sales growth of 17% in January 2021 compared to the same period a year earlier. We have seen solid growth in our real estate division, achieving a more than 300% surge in the volume of sales compared to the same time last year. This growth is being driven, is being driven by investor confidence in Dubai real estate market and the superior quality of the product. Many buyers from the Middle East, parts of Europe and the United States are seeing the UAE, particularly Dubai, as a safe and stable environment to relocate to. Al Habtur said that UAE's hospitality sector has managed to withstand the impact, the impact of the pandemic to regain a healthy level of business and noted that his hotels have witnessed a steady rise in occupancy rates. Our ability to agile and adapt to the needs of the market have been critical to our success, he said. Al Habtur said other parts of the business are faring well. The group's car leasing business, Diamond Lease, increased its fleet size by 24% to reach more than 10,000 vehicles in the period of March 2020 to March 2021, with 90% utilization. He also noted strong results at Al Habtur Motors, which matched pre pandemic numbers and increased demand at Emirates International Schools. Habtur is a, an ambitious man who doesn't quit and loves to invest his mind and ideas to strengthen his business and also to contribute in helping the economy of Dubai. So Al Habtur Group is planning a major investment in several European countries. So the company is uh, currently planning to invest in hospitality and medical facilities. And also they plan to invest in Hungarian capital of, of Budapest because uh, regarding the EU members Hungary is tested one of the best Arabian countries to invest in because it includes low taxes and also it support pro businesses and also Al Habtur is uh, planning to invest in other Arabian countries and also he plan to invest also in his current businesses because of the uh, coronavirus crisis, so he planned to invest his money also in, in the current businesses that he owns in Dubai. A great man, he is a very genuine, very transparent, and very human person. I am a simple person. I am not acting in business, that's me. When I sit with a friend, I love them, that's me. If I don't like them, I never sit with them. I never like to upset anybody. Not only I want to be wealthy or rich, I want to be, you know, a person who can, who can help. Still, I am beginning, you know, on the road, and I'm looking ahead. And hi. His wisdom always has been to us in work a, like a torch to light for us the road. And his vision has driven us or given us uh, always a new uh, plateaus and new uh, areas to reach. So 
Without his vision, we couldn't have been uh, where we are.